Okay. Um, here's the new uh, up updated uh, version of Clip Studio Paint. Uh, what this was uh, upgraded May 27. So they added new features, especially for um, brushes, um, two sub tools. Uh, if you're using the Clip Studio Paint, Clip Studio Paint Pro or EX. So if you're a painter. Or just you want to draw there's an added feature what's what's a good thing about in this feature is that you have a new tools if you select your tool options you, they added the dual brush so if you want to create more expressive strokes you can use dual brush to to do more um expressive lines like for example if you're using pencil so you have here the design pencil see the the brush stroke but if you use your dual brush so it will add more if you are using different brush so you have a good um, effect to your brush So it's a, it's like in Photoshop, you have, you want to combine it with a new set of brushes, uh, one brush stroke and to a new brush stroke. So it will have a good, uh, or a new type of custom brush. If you're using the dual brush setting. So this is a new feature for clip Studio paint. Then if you're using a different, uh, set of some tools watercolor they have new um set of brushes they added like they have the wet wash for example this one yeah. if we want to try to create different colors like this one so it's a painting We combine it with other colors so this is the effect of the uh, wet wash so it's a heavy um, you see some lag on the when you paint but you can minimize it by changing the size and also the the document setting if you're just you just want to paint so you can use the wet wash then you have also the watercolor brush uh, splash so this is the effect it's like a splatter grunge effect of brushes can just change the setting in this section so you see the how they apply effects and the, com the uh, setup of that kind of uh, watercolor splash then for the India ink we have a new set of um, brush also we have the dry ink i think this is something new this is a good uh, stroke you want to have a more edgy uh, noisy effect of brush you can use this kind of um stroke We change it to black so this is the effect you want to create some type type or uh, type or signature you can use this or just write or create a good um sketchy drawings so you can use the 
dry ink. Then we have also the I don't know, it is something new. The watery ink. So you have this type of brush. So more light type of ink brush. So it will depend on how you press your brush, your pen, your uh, pen display or tablet. So the heavy, the more stroke percentage you will um, use. And then you have the web blot ink. So similar to the uh, wet flash. So you have this one. More realistic pink. pink. So that's how they add good realistic uh, uh, brushes strokes in the new latest update of um clips to japan so that's web blotting ink and then um from the airbrush uh and also in the different um like effect so you have to check also some of the um new added brushes i think and you have the glitter effect i think this one is the uh, another uh type of uh new brush So see the how the particles uh, blend works or uh, blend with the using the glitter effect. Then we have also the dappled light. This is this is the new um, added features. If you want to create some effect, okay. I say for example um I want to change the color of background. Then I have this kind of um effect using the dappled light. So that's um, some of the features, new features uh, in Clips Studio Paint latest version. So if you want to try those, you need to download it first. It's I think it's almost 300, uh, 256 to 300 MB of file size. And if you want to try it out, I think it's a good, I know, uh, good uh, strokes brushes uh, that are added and new features for uh, Clips Studio Paint.